Hey guys, it's Swatches back with another episode of Dishonored. Um, I've put my uh, webcam down here, I think, uh, just so that you can see my health and my mana bar left, and it'll show you, I think, what I have equipped. Yeah, um, I realized that it was in the wrong place before, so I thought I would fix that. But yeah, let's go just get right into it. Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist in the world. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in dumb <laughs> Yes, and Campbell's journal looks nothing good. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Cauldron can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Oh, God. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest for us. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with Regent. Cool, sounds good. Um... Let me see if there's anything to pick up. No, there isn't. Cool. <laughs> Pretty sure my room's up here. Let's go sleep. So I think we're going to get Emily next. This is a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear it, uh, mute everything. But Emily is my daughter, and in the beginning we saw my lovely wife get killed. So sad. Where am I supposed to go? Hello. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be gone here shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something. Moving to Cool. There's a weeper in here. They like to put you in a sewer, the sewers in this game. What's the point in doing this? Is he gonna let like hag fish in or something? No, it's useless. I guess the uh, magnifying lenses are good for when they're far away. Also, the game is really loud on my end. I'll lower that. Rune. Is there anything else out that I can get? And another rune? Great. Cool, dead end. Thank you, game. I love going nowhere. Nice. 
trying to get as much money as I can. That's why I did the dark vision right now. I thought I heard a weep in there earlier. <laughs> Probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin. Probably not. This game gives me the creeps. They want to talk to you. Okay, I'm gonna go steal some stuff from your room, okay, lady? If there's anything left to steal after that first go. Yeah. Family crisis body yada 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 yada. This is all there is. All I want is everybody's money. Is that too much to ask for? Money. I went through the books this morning and found the hiding state secret. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. Wait, what are they talking about? She got money on her. You got money on you, Wallace? My master had a very fitful No one is going to love this Okay, we well gotta learn how to slide, because that's pretty cool. Oh, I think when I first slid, I don't know what I was doing, but it sucked. In that first episode, under, or the second one, I think. Oh. Okay. Corvus, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope for us. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. We've got it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. Awesome. A golden cask of all things. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custer. Not only are they controlling Emily, they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Okay. Can I go? Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. Thank you. That's great. Appreciate it. I'll hit a tartlet. I don't want to talk to you yet, dude. I want to see you have money. Hey, Piero. Hello, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Upgrades. Nope. No, thank you. Piero's workshop key. Hey, dude. A moment, if I may. I district the soldier. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're whole, you know. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. <laughs> this dude has a drinking problem. My brothers are close I think every time we've seen him, region. he's been drinking something. Once they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. Okay. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with them to cheat others out of oh, their wealth. Oh, yep. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight as their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. <laughs> Just another swig. Let's see, I think uh, Samuel, the boatman, has stuff down here. Thank you for your money. 
Why do you Hello. even do audiography? My name is Samuel. This machine was tossed into the river by the admiral when I fetched it. Oh. <laughs> That's why. Hey dude. I'll take you to the golden cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times for <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But I have no idea why that would be funny. I'll get you as close as I can to the golden cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. Thanks, bud. Take them all, dude. Folks used to fight off the cranks. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. She my daughter, dude. She means the world. Can I not jump over this? The watchtowers. Yes. Yeah, this is what I was talking about in an earlier episode of The Chaos. High number of deaths results in more raps, rats and weepers and different reactions from my allies and darker final outcomes. I'm going to... If you don't kill people too much, then you get a better outcome. So, oh. Yeah. You can see that. Just destroying them right now. Oof. Oh, that was so much faster, doing it with that bone charm. I'm gonna try and be faster <laughs> this uh, game, uh, this mission, or at least get to the place I need to get to faster because it, I think it was pretty slow last time. That's not what I want to press. This is what I want to press. So yeah, we just have one optional thing. He's probably gonna want me to do something for him. Okay, B. Do we have this one dude up here still? What's that music for? Huh? Oh god! I am definitely a coordinated player. That was crazy. Fast for me to die in this game. Okay, well we already know what we're doing right here, so let's just go do it, I guess. Carry him. Let's go throw him over here where nobody's going to see him. Somebody might see him there, but I don't give a crap. Okay. Now, do this. Why did that person just come kill me, like, instantly? Oh, there's something in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just the man he wants to see. I get it, dude. Did he just despawn? Oh. Dude, I'm the biggest idiot. Oh, 
R. I don't know the elixir buttons in this game yet. Whoa. That was pretty insane. I'm gonna move his body towards here. <laughs> Loot. Do you? Oh, did it, this person lost his head too? Where's the third head? Oh, there it is. It's a nice head. Oh, I meant to throw that. So yeah, we don't kill people on this one. Clearly. Oh dang, I still have extra. I think I'm gonna go for um Ben Time. That's a pretty cool one. Bone charms, we're good. Oh, I think we have two more, so let's just go with Frode and Quick Dodge. I'm just going to come in here first before I go to any of those bone charms. Hopefully they're not going to kill me since I killed those people. I don't know. It could happen. Oops. Tainted elixir. Cool, dude. Let me take your stuff. Easy, easy. We just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us are one part elixir, three parts water. Oh, that's just to make the swap. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting you. Drop, I think you will get to play because you were got rat viscera in there dude why do I keep pressing that dude terrified me money 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 copyright strike boop, 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 boop. hey dude Somebody who played in the deep past. Half my men are weakling. Trap three of them in the distillery. Oh my goodness, this is a It's crazy. So when I find myself short of able bodies. I may have a point of interest for you, see. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over there. I agree, dude. I agree. I'm right, ain't I? You're right. You, you do? The boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests in the night. That sounds great, dude. You walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to... Cool, what do you want me to do? I don't think we're going to be talking to people too much now. They're just getting annoying. <laughs> I have to pay attention to. Hey, dude, do you have anything I could uh No, you don't. Let's see how it is. Let's see what he wants me to do. Enter Dr. Cop. Again? What am I supposed to do? Alt show history. I don't know. Cool. Let's go Dr. Galvani's, I guess, again. Feeling a little bit like a repeat. Uh, oh god. He ran right in front of me. That was scary. Okay, we can use this button to get stuff. 
Well, let me use bend time. Let me show you guys that. Pretty cool. I just killed four people fast. But the my favorite is when it's stop time and you just go into a room, get something, and then sneak back out. I think that's a lot of fun. Cool. So we have a bone charm right up there. I swear I just bought the upgrade. Why can't I do this? Okay. We got it. Okay, okay. Cool, dude. Cool, dude. Here, let me just uh, bend time real quick. And shoot you in the head. I guess I already looted him up. Okay, there was two here before, wasn't there? Can I see that dude, or... Nah. Dang it. Pressed the wrong button. Oh, God! That was a surprise. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> cool, what do we get? Weepers? Oh, I don't really care about weepers. I don't see them much. Cool, so we got one thing right there. The golden cat and bone jar. So those were the guys that killed the one chick. What's her name? Oh yeah, my wife. <laughs> the Empress. Should probably make sure to know her name for the future. I like blinking into enemies because then they're just stunned and they don't do anything. You take them out with one shot. It's nice and convenient. Huh. To put a dude up there. Leaves me with a couple of choices. I can go up to the top one. Oh, dang it. That blink goes far. I thought I was going to have to get to this vent right here. But now we're good. I think I'm going to save. Just in case. Dr. Galvani's. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't going to waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you going to put on your report? I'm going to say we found one of Slack Chuck's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Cool. Just taking them out is going to be a lot easier than trying to do anything else. Let's move these guys over to the bathroom. Make some loot, get some money. And then head back to Slackjaw. I'm warming up to the game again. Remembering how to play. I feel like this is going to be, we'll get a lot more done <laughs> over the next few games episodes even Sorry, I'm trying to talk and read at the same time and my brain just stops entirely so I apologize for that okay is there an audiograph thing here no but there's a rune here is there anything else in here no only five runes this mission? It's 
kind of sucky. Is that all I need for Slackjaw? Oh, yeah, return the audiograph to Slackjaw. Okay. I think I'm going to see if there's anything good to loot first. tempting to smack that open, but <laughs> I don't want to get caught, so we won't. Anybody around here? No. <laughs> Any money around here? Also, no. Close that, get some money. Yeah, nice. Okay, do I see anything down there that looks worthwhile? Not really. If there was like a painting, I think I'd be. I'd have to go because those are just worth so much, but I don't see a painting anywhere. I see a bunch of crossbow bolts. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna call that it for. Dr. Galvani's. Apart from whatever this little thing may be. 287? Isn't that something I've already done? Yeah. Come on, we can go. Lavering Boulevard. Just a small town girl. I'm not gonna sing popular songs. So I don't get kicked off YouTube forever. I don't even know what they do that. I don't know what the laws are, but wouldn't surprise me. Oh, hello, head. I think that was Jerry. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pays for the whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So the rest of these guys gonna turn into weepers, or? This is a lot of fun. Never mind, that was pretty uh, underwhelming. Okay, there is a bone charm over there though, so let's go get that. Unnerving target? Oh, I don't care. Hey Slackjaw, here's Crowley's last words. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Mm-hmm. Slackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once again. What's the take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang? And you'll never believe who it is either. At first I did. That's why it's taking me so long. I wanted to be sure. What's that? Harder! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back. Cool. Deal. Somebody wants him dead. Tell me. Tell me what you got. No. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. I have no idea what I was money clients. talking to him about. A dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months, too. Not sure why. 
So that means a lot of the city watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Cool. Look we'll at the art dealer and the golden cat. So, what? <laughs> Non-lethal, okay. Sounds good to me. Let's do the non-lethal, I enjoy that. But I think that's probably going to be the end of the episode. So, I will see you guys uh, in the next one. Bye.